The destruction of forests hurt people on the planet, while restoring these landscapes offer profound benefits. Storing carbon, improving biodiversity, purifying water and air, buffering against floods and extreme weather, and providing people with food and other resources. The restoration of degraded forests presents an unprecedented opportunity to improve the lives and livelihoods of people around the world. A new planning tool from the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations helps countries and restoration actors grasp that opportunity. The tool is adaptive, customizable, and open source. The restoration planning module will be integrated inside the Sapal dashboard as an application. This application will look like a website and will be separated into four computation steps and two result steps. In the first step, you'll be asked to select an area of interest for your study that will be used inside the module. Two possible options are available. The first is to use administrative layers, and the second is to use custom geometries. Once the boundary is selected, you can move to the questionnaire. The questionnaire is split into two steps, constraints and restoration priorities. Constraints are a set of criteria that can be activated or deactivated by selecting them inside the drop-down menu. Some constraints allow to mask a range of values, while others are binary. The restoration priorities can be selected using a standard priority questionnaire, which allows you to rank your priorities by importance. Once you've answered all the questions, the module will evaluate all the layer weight values which will be applied to create the results for the restoration dashboard. In the following table, we'll find all of the layers that will be used to compute the restoration dashboard and the associated weights. Users remain in complete control of the software and can manually modify every layer definition. Clicking on the action button will open a pop-up window displaying a description of the layer, and the option to change that layer that will be used for this theme. This layer will be checked for compatibility with the rest of the application. If it's not compatible, the default layer will be used. Once modifications are set, you can click on the Save button or Cancel to use the default layer. The Recipe section allows a user to load the weights from a previously saved model or use the weights from the questionnaire. Clicking the validation button will display information about the computation to make it clear what information the program is using to run the calculations. The result map below indicates priority areas of restoration based on your specific ranking of restoration objectives, constraints, and risks. Areas in the map in blue indicate a higher return on investment while areas mapped in red indicate a lower return with regards to your objective. The map could show, for instance, the precise areas where restoring forests would yield the largest potential increases in carbon storage, food positioning, or flood control relative to the costs and risks. This indicator of restoration potential is prioritized based on your ranking of expected benefits. It represents the ratio of the weighted sum of benefits divided by costs. Costs include both priority and establishment costs. Comparing the relative magnitude of this indicator across space and between sites can help identify which sites offer a high return on investment and which ones offer a low return. Investigate the restoration suitability map to identify some areas that seem promising for planning restoration activities. Once you've identified these regions, you can draw a boundary box around them to run summary statistics for comparison. Presented statistics include a detailed analysis of the estimated benefits, costs, and risks. This information can help you assess trade-offs and restoration priorities between regions of interest. Forest restoration is complex and requires that decision makers consider a multitude of factors when deciding where to pursue restoration interventions. Decisions include where to restore and which areas hold the highest chances of success. These complex choices require the consideration of a number of biophysical and socioeconomic factors. This tool provides a medium to quantify user priorities and help them better understand how restoration interventions will help achieve their goals.